Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, and welcome back to the channel. EA Sports surprised us with a loading screen yesterday on FIFA 23, telling us that the Winter Wildcards program starts early with the swaps program starting today we will be able to attain swaps programs for winter wildcard swaps as early as today on FIFA 23 and that is a big surprise because this promo technically won't start until this upcoming Friday but we're already starting the swaps program that's pretty crazy so I want to take a look through that what we know what we might learn today and what we can expect with a winter wildcard swaps promo and I also want to take a look at the crazy market right now because prices are going everywhere prices are dying on the market other places prices are flying because of the Di Maria SBC and the hype around Argentina winning the World Cup final yesterday absolutely mental game but specifically that Di Maria SBC is affecting a lot of cards on the market and so is this 88 plus mid or World Cup icon upgrade which we thought was going to be today right and EA said now nah, we're going to drop it a day early could we get other upgrade packs today there's a leak that we potentially have to watch out for and I want to talk about that and the rest of the market for today on a Monday. It's going to be a crazy video. It's going to be a crazy Monday, guys. So strap in if you're excited for it today. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's start from the top with the Winter Wild Cards swaps. And this loading screen that we had yesterday, of course, pretty simple loading screen, just showing us the card design for the swap token. We know what this means, right? Swap token, we're going to turn those in for player picks, Winter Wild Card items, and packs right it just sounds like what we expect with the swaps program the craziest thing is we already have one going on right now the world cup swaps program does not end for at least a, a couple more days as a part of the whole world cup content on fifa 23 those uh rewards even for the world cup swaps are live for another like 15 days i believe that it is but here's the thing with the winter wild card swaps program this happened last year too we had tokens available before the actual rewards were put out so today might be the day where we can first attain tokens but i don't believe we will be able to turn in those tokens for any rewards at least for a couple days maybe even a couple of weeks so today really just starts the grind of collecting the tokens now last year in fiba 22 um the tokens started dropping via sbc's and objectives now notice that via sbcs is a part of this i would expect again this year that winter wildcard swaps tokens will be available via sbcs the uh world cup swaps as we all know were only available via objectives and a couple packs in the store this time i do believe sbcs will be involved now right now the rewards are not leaked right we've seen some pack codes for like the 85 times 10 this year the 83 times 25 and some other packs like that there will most likely be some rewards leaked i would imagine that if ea is going to release a website today that would kind of show us all of the rewards like they most often do or even if some of that stuff starts to get added to the code i do believe you will see rewards leaked today on monday so watch out for like foot sheriff's account and stuff like that even though the rewards might not be available today you might start to see those leaks uh dropping today on the game as well so uh it's, it's very interesting right because at the same time we're talking about all this winter wild card stuff some people still might be finishing up their swaps i am i'm not completely done with the world cup swaps yet and it makes me think like okay shoot i gotta get that done fast because we have a whole new swaps program to start grinding and to start working towards starting today on this game so um, of course as we know with winter wild cards and with all other swaps programs probably some of the tokens will be available in the store but again i, I have to repeat and say that this last swaps program the first one of fifa 23 with world cup swaps has only been available via objectives right that's going to change with winter wild cards they will be in sbcs and objectives and the store so the SBC part, of course, whenever we get those SBCs that contain the tokens, it makes player prices move a lot. So watch your silvers, your bronzes, your non-rare golds from specific nations and leagues. Whenever you see a requirement, if you like trading with that stuff, maybe stock your club with some cheap discard golds right now because some of that stuff could be needed in the coming weeks as we have those uh, swap tokens available. That's kind of the biggest news today uh, with the swaps program. Now, something else I want to talk about and show is that there are a couple potential cards already that have been leaked. Uh, Foot Sheriff has leaked a couple of big names for Winter Wild Cards players. And the fact that he has leaked these cards with stats expected. Now, this seems a little bit too good to be true to be a part of like a swaps reward program. But we've already had a Vieira and a Cafu available via swaps rewards for players as icons during World Cup swaps. And we had some pretty good other players like Fabinho, Coman, Eden Hazard 
card. So we've had a Benzema winter wild cards that has leaked. Again, stats expected. Usually when Sheriff has stats expected, that means that the cards are going to drop pretty soon, usually. So we'll have to see. This feels to me like it should be a card that's in packs, but who knows? We have an Adama Traore that has been leaked very recently as well, and we, we talked about it in yesterday's video, and Alan St. Maximum uh, has been leaked as well. So whether it's Adama or Benzema or St. Max, maybe all or maybe one of these cards are going to be a part of the Winter Wildcard Swap Rewards that we will see dropped in the game today. So keep an eye out for Twitter. Keep an eye out for some of those leaks because I feel like we might get some more information around those rewards today on Monday. Now, let's talk about Monday a little bit more. What kind of content could we be expecting to see today? And we're going to tie this in with the market and with what we saw yesterday as well, because yesterday we saw the 88 plus mid or FIFA World Cup icon upgrade, which we thought we were going to see today on a Monday. Now, there is a leak kind of going around right now that there might be another pack dropped as a gamble type of upgrade pack SBC today. And this is the tweet, right? This was retweeted by Arcade Foot, one of the leakers that we look at his tweets sometimes, seems to be pretty reliable. Now, granted, he did leak the Bruno uh, team of the tournament card, and Bruno Fernandez did not receive a card, so take with that what you will. But he retweeted this guy that said that the 88 plus was going to be dropping today, which was he tweeted this yesterday on Sunday, and it did drop. He also said the mid season two review, kind of a party bag, should come tomorrow, which would be today on Monday. Now, the biggest thing that I have a problem with with this is if you look at the pack code, the mid Mid-season two review pack contains one World Cup Path to Glory, FIFA World Cup, uh, Road to the World Cup, or FIFA World Cup Stories card, plus 14 rare gold players. That to me, anytime when a pack contains like that many rare gold players in it, like you almost never see those in the store, uh, or you always see those in the store. You almost never see them in SBCs. So that's my issue with this mid-season two review pack is this really, really feels like it should be a pack in the store and not via an SBC. Now, could they still drop some sort of mid-season like review player pick or something like that? Absolutely, they could. Because if you think about it, we are at the very end of the World Cup season. And if you guys remember earlier on this year, when we came to the end of season number one, they did some packs in the store, but they also did some. Uh, review like campaign picks and stuff like that in SBC. So as we come to the end of this World Cup season, which you can see right in the top there, three days, four hours, we are very close to the end. Um, that is some sort of content that could potentially drop and I guess is something that we have to consider for content today on this game. Now, with it being a Monday, upgrade packs are always part of the equation on Mondays. If we do get some other sort of upgrade pack, you guys might be wondering, Nate, what should I do with my SBC fodder? Because prices have gone up. If you invested over the weekend, the past couple of days, I'm really glad that I talked about it extensively in last night's video because the 88 plus mid or uh, FIFA World Cup icon, it's not a terrible price but it's not a great price you do get a couple packs back you get it uh i think is it a mega pack that you get back from it yeah you get a mega pack from doing the 87 rated squad it's only 246,000 coins to complete and i think since it's just two squads a lot of people are going out and doing it and fodder is going up right your 91s last night on the youtube video of course we were buying these for like 52 51,000 coins right around here these guys exploded i sold a couple at like 60 to 62k they're back down a little bit i expect fodder to go up today in two different time frames i expect it to go up with weekly rewards being gifted out and paid out people are going to get coins today they're going to go onto the market they're either going to do the di maria sbc that dropped yesterday that everybody's going crazy about or they're going to go do the icon upgrade or they're going to finish working on ronaldo there's a lot of sbc SBC demand for cards right now, which is why I held a lot of the fodder that I invested in. A lot of the 85s that I bought yesterday at 7,000 coins, 8,000 coins, I'm probably just going to continue to rise because that Di Maria SBC, the Ronaldo, and the 88 plus all require 85s in them. I mean, you look at this Di Maria, a 96% upvote completion rate. And if you take a look at the card, he's got almost 65 over 6500 thumbs up on the card alone i mean guys this is arguably the most hyped sbc the market obviously tells the story too this is the most hyped sbc so far in fifa 23 in terms of a player sbc no card has single-handedly dropped 
cards on the market like this Di Maria has. It was all the perfect storm, perfect timing with Argentina winning the World Cup yesterday with all uh, with all these Argentina cards being so hyped that people want to try out. Correa getting the upgrade, Romero and Gomez, EA upgrading those cards almost uh, like the fastest upgrade we had ever seen. And we talked about that in yesterday's video. We we're like, EA needs to upgrade these cards fast and they did. So we have to give credit where credit is due. GG's the EA Sports for doing that. But that's kind of what's happened. That's the story of the market right now. Everybody is turning towards Argentina type teams to link up all these new players and upgraded players, or they're they're turning to teams that link up this Di Maria for t such a cheap value and such a great card that he is. Juventus links, Serie A links, if you take a look at the market, are going up like crazy. Like this Rabio was 75K. Now he's over 100,000 coins. Um, Lissandro Martinez was 110K. He's now 140. Dumfries, who I bought some of yesterday, was 35,000 coins. He's now 45K. And that's just some of the cards that are on the list. Look at Montiel, 32,000 coins, right? And then you have the other side of the coin where cards like this Neymar, 99K for Neymar after he's started the day yesterday on, on Sunday at 170,000 coins because people are selling this Neymar to go and do the Di Maria because it's brand new. It's fun. It's a Di Maria with a weak foot and a huge pace boost. Such a great card. Some people are even asking the question, do I get rid of Ribery? Does he start over Ribery? And I think the answer is for a cheap price of 124,000 coins, you can do this SBC pretty easily. And then if you want to keep Ribery in your team, you can. And you have this guy at least as a super sub. Now, only thing we need here is for E to drop a dynamic image of Di Maria with the World Cup trophy uh, and add that to the card. And that would be absolutely fan freaking tastic but like we said today on the market the stuff that i would want to be looking at the most would be your argentine cards and your um your 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 Serie A cards both of those right come on nate get the words out right but argentina and Serie A is where i'd want to, to be looking even this brand new amadabat card right with the links that he has he has Serie A links they just dropped them yesterday as a part of the mini release he's not a bad looking card whatsoever and if you want to link any of your Moroccan cards with your Serie A links here, this is a great card for that as well. So Amrabat, Casemiro, and Doan were the mini release. No Otamendi and no Bruno, unfortunately. Um, but some decent cards. This Casemiro is like 120, 130,000 coins. He did get a decent pace boost, medium high. Actually looks like a solid center back. Good composure, good reactions. Might be just a fun card to try out. But like we said, the market right now everywhere. And if you're trying to trade in this market as well, the cards that I would try to trade with would be these cards uh, or, or you know, that are Serie A or Argentinian. Or I would maybe try to trade with some cards that have just dropped off so much in price that it seems like they're just way, way, way too cheap. But again, always trade in and around the hype and flip the cards that people are wanting for their teams and for their clubs like Marquisio's 400,000 coins a lot of these heroes have gone up in price as well Marquisio yesterday was dropping because of the hero pack he was down to 353 and then exploded up to like 420k because of those Syria links and that demand that was there for those cards so keep a close eye on your Syria cards because they just keep rising and honestly it's for good reason because there's so much demand and so much hype for those players right now on this game they're probably going to move up even more today after the weekend league rewards get paid out people are going to go out and buy some of those cards be watching for those now back to the fodder side of things and back to the sbc side of things like i said i think fodder is going to go up today i would honestly be holding fodder even after content today because like i said with the leak of that extra sbc being out and with the other sbcs that are still here another piece of monday content that we hope to see today would be upgrade packs, regular upgrade packs, right? Maybe an 80 plus double, maybe the player picks return. Some sort of upgrade pack today would be something that we would really, really hope to see and potentially could make people want to go out and do more SBCs, right? If you think about it, they would be able to go and do upgrade packs, get some more fodder, maybe work on the 88 plus, maybe work on the Ronaldo and stuff like that. So I think that holding your SBC fodder and lazy listing it again, I've got fodder on my transfer list that I've been lazy listing and I can even show you some of my sales. In the peak of the prices yesterday, you can see I sold a Benzema 63. I sold a Lewandowski at 62. Uh, I sold this Melito probably a little bit too early and I've got this stuff listed up, right? The Benzema is listed up at 62, 63. I got my 88s listed up at like 32 to 35K. I have got other cards here on my transfer list. I made a pretty big move, right? Because I sold this Harry Kane card last 
last night at 199,000 coins, literally 24 hours ago. The fact that this card dropped off almost 50% in price in one day for me, being high rated as he is, um, I picked up some Harry Canes at a, under 110. Most of them are right around 110 and under 106 to 110. Uh, I actually picked up like 13 of them because I was like, man, some of the market that has dropped off for some of these cards, whether they are brand new, whether they are out of packs, promo cards, I just thought it was a bit too much. Now, Harry Kane right now is approaching 120,000 coins, and he maybe doesn't go back up to like 150 or, or anything like that. But if that card go, goes back to like 130, this morning, if, if people kind of, you know, just get their weekly rewards, go out and buy some cards, that'll be, a, that'll be a card that will, you know, make me a lot of profit just because he was down an astronomical amount in price. And that's where a lot of the market is, like we talked about, right? I mean, we can just go through and show some more graphs. I mean, you know, of course, the Griezmann and Akunku are down because they are um, not live anymore. I'd be careful with Griezmann and Akunku because yesterday, of course, they had some price fluctuations. Post game, Griezmann was all the way down to like 700k flat. He rebounded back to 800 and he's kind of been chilling in this range. Watch out for another round of panic selling on Griezmann this morning. I think his price may come back down again for a couple hours and then that might be like the end of his panic selling and then he might just slowly start to rise back up if you take a look at like the bernardo silva um before he had a crazy spike this weekend because of the ronaldo card uh which is probably yeah we can't go back far enough to see it but bernardo silva was down at like four he was like 400k flat when they lost and you can see after that weekend he kind of rebounded back up to around 500k and it was up even more when ronaldo dropped to like 560 but when these rare Path to Glory cards lose, right? Same thing with Nkunku. Nkunku is like 2.2 million coins right now. This is, you know, nearest kind of the cheapest he has been since he was like 1.7. This card's 5-star, five 5-star five with incredible stats. Keep an eye on this for a little bit more panic selling, but then also the potential for a rebound later on today. And of course, watch the Argentinians. Papu Gomez, like literally just uh, two or three hours ago, went from 900k to 1.1 mil as he just got rare right people were selling this card off after the game but there was also a mix of genuine demand uh for people to go and try this card out and play with all the argentine links that are so hyped so this card dropped back down pretty low and right now he's about 975 again so watch the fluctuations with these path to glory cards because they will continue to move as people are trying these cards out i do think that even though uh you've seen a lot of the market drop in price and you see a ton of prices go down like i've lost some coins today on parasitch right i bought parasitch at uh 51 52k because i was like all right i'm gonna trade with this guy um and be able to flip this card because you know he was really really low yesterday and there's a lot of panic selling with the icon pack that dropped well then they dropped Di maria all left wings dropped and parasitch went down to like 35k and he's back up i took the opportunity to sell um and you know we lost the coins there but you know where people are going to be hyped and buying their team today like i said is with the Serie A links with the argentina links so i'd be very very careful um and also if you're trying to make some coins watch that side of the market because that is where the hype is and you want to trade and you want to be trying to flip cards in the demand of the market so honestly guys today again like i said for a monday on fifa today i'm watching for the upgrade packs i'm watching for maybe a potential player sbc hopefully ea can continue the hype with the world cup uh again I, I didn't even mention it but one of the biggest things with this Di maria sbc and getting it done i need to put a hunter on mine don't worry i don't have one in the club that's why i haven't put a hunter on it yet but one of the biggest things with that card and what you get from is you get a, a lone messy 94 messy this is a 2.7 million coin card on the market that's one of the biggest draws to doing the, the Di maria sbc as well is that you get that lone messy right and that's something that you can use in friendlies for the rest of the year that's a huge card for ea to give out for the price of an 84 rated squad in the middle of that Di maria sbc so definitely keep an eye on the sbc fodder side of the market today because i do believe it will continue to go up and watch for the leaks like i said today's going to be a big day for leaks and also watch for store packs i mean you never know what kind of store packs they've been running lightning rounds on all days of the week again they're even running them right now they dropped 24 hour lightning rounds for ultimate packs and they have not sold out yet we said on stream yesterday that um if these were still available at 6 p.m uh tomorrow or today on monday we were gonna laugh because ea's 24-hour lightning rounds did not sell out which would be very funny um but they're dropping these packs still in the store trying to bring supply to the market 
We'll see if EA dropped more lightning rounds there today on this game. Speaking of packs, watch out for the Twitch Prime pack. That should be today. I know if you guys um, have Amazon Prime, that means you have Twitch Prime. If you link your Twitch and your Amazon accounts, you get a free pack. Always a cheeky shout. You get a free sub to a Twitch stream as well. Twitch stream link down below if you want to catch us live there. We'll be live today opening some of those Twitch Prime packs, opening whatever upgrade packs we get, and uh, seeing what content and what market moves we have today on a Monday in FIFA 23. But again, guys, what a freaking day yesterday on Sunday with the World Cup Final. What an insane game. Uh, just wild, right? One for the ages, and that hype just boiled over and kind of spilled over into FIFA with everything that was going on, and it's just making these card prices move like crazy on the team. The tournament cards and just the whole market in general with all the hype being on the Argentina cards and uh, with the... Di Maria SBC and that Icon SBC that they dropped yesterday. So hopefully today on Monday lives up to the hype as well. We'll be watching for those swap tokens with Winter Wild Cards, seeing what that brings us, and hopefully looking at some of the rewards that will be leaked to be grinding towards today as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.